LeBron James suffers a severe injury and it has to leave the game. The Los Angeles Lakers have already released information that he's out indefinitely. So they've released the information he has a high ankle sprain. And so when we watch that footage, what we're seeing is that defender hit him on the outside part of the leg, which causes his ankle to evert and externally rotate. So let's go over that in detail and look at that. We have a model over here, and if we look at this model, the ankle joint normally allows flexion and dorsiflexion of the ankle. When the defender hits him on the outside, what it causes is his ankle to evert this way, which can sprain the ligaments on the inside, which are the deltoid ligaments. And the other thing that happens when, that, when, when he hits him is his, his ankle externally rotates this way. So look what happens between these two bones when I externally rotate the ankle, they separate, okay? And that's the difference between a low ankle sprain and a high ankle sprain. The high ankle sprain affects these two bones, the tibia and the fibula, versus the low ankle sprain, which can affect the deltoid ligaments here and the lateral ankle uh, ligament complex. When you have that high ankle sprain, you're affecting that tibia fibula. And, and the danger of that is now you can start getting separation between those bones and you can lose the placement of this talus bone down here within the ankle joint. So what the doctors are gonna do is they're gonna get x-rays, we're gonna get MRIs of LeBron James, we're gonna make sure that there's no separation between these two bones, the tibia and the fibula, as you can see what happens with that injury. If there's any separation whatsoever, we'd be highly inclined to take them into surgery where we actually reconstruct this, this ligament here so there's no separation and that can affect long-term ankle pain and ankle arthritis. So how long are we looking for him to be out most likely? With the high ankle sprains versus the low ankle sprains, it's much longer because this ligament takes a lot longer to heal. Um, I would say on average, we're looking about six weeks, but this can range anywhere between four weeks all the way up to three months. And that's, that's hopefully if he has no separation on the x-rays or the MRI. Hopefully he just has pain along that area and a minor injury where there's no diastasis or gapping between these two bones. And that's the difference between a high ankle sprain versus a low ankle sprain. We wish LeBron all the best and hopefully we'll see him on the court soon. And we'll see you guys next time.